my channel. I'm Zara for those of you who don't know me. Um, yeah, welcome back to my series Upcycling My Summer Wardrobe, in which I will be using stuff I already own and turn them into cute spring and summer pieces. This is part five already, and if you haven't seen the other parts, make sure to check them out. I will link them in the description box, and I also made a playlist so you can binge all the parts. You're welcome. And yeah. Today I will be transforming a t-shirt I tie-dyed a year ago and I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling it anymore so I thought I could make something else out of it um, which I will be hopefully loving. And yeah, before we get into the tutorial I wanted to say I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel <sighs> and or uh, like, give this video a thumbs up and also check out my Instagram, it's brand new and I do more stuff around sustainability, mindful lifestyle, veganism, upcycling, DIY fashion, all the good stuff. Um, yeah, and now without further ado, let's do the tutorial. To create this milkmaid top, I first of all took my measurements as always and as always I of course made a sketch for you where I explain in detail which measurements you need and how you can make your pattern. And um, now I just want to take a second and say that this project almost drove me mental. I, I don't know, everything went wrong, I made so many mistakes, so um, yeah, I just want to be transparent here and um, and then, um, yeah, it, I, I'm not perfect and this project for sure isn't perfect, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. And um, yeah, here I have my pa um, pattern pieces. This is my underbus piece and here I am folding my um, back piece. And as you can see, they have the same width, which is very important. Um, but again, you can look this up in my sketch. I then went in and cut my t-shirt open and I don't know what happened but um, my head was obviously not working that day. Um, every time I wanted to cut out my pieces I cut them right in the middle. So <laughs> um, to visualize this um, I tried to cut my back piece and I cut it into two pieces because I cut it in the middle. Yeah I don't know what happened but I was so I was so mad in the end after I cut off all my pieces I yeah After I found my brain and I managed to cut out my pieces, I went in and marked the wrong sides with my fabric chalk. And so in the end, I was left with three pieces in total, my back piece, my underbust piece, as well as my bust piece. And what I then did was to take my bust piece, um, which I will be later ruching, and round the corners so that in the end, when I'm fitting it onto my underbust piece and sewing it together, it fits nicer. And for this project I used two threads in total, one light blue thread for all my normal seams and one bright blue for all my decorative seams. And here I'm just lettuce hemming the top of my bust piece. I then cut a piece of elastic for the ruffles on top of my top. <laughs> and uh, after that I marked the middle of my bust piece as well as the middle of my elastic and I pinned the elastic in the middle as well as on both ends. This just ensures that later when you're sewing the elastic will be equally distributed and you will be left with beautiful even ruffles.
when you start to sew your elastic to your top, um, make sure to use a zigzag stitch and don't pull on the first centimeters. <laughs> Just uh, sew it in place, go back and forth with your sewing machine and then start pulling your elastic. Yeah, and then um, you just sew along and afterwards you have a beautiful, nice, ruched effect. After that, I ruched the bottom of my bust piece and for that I just sewed um, a straight basing stitch on the longest stitch length and I used the lowest thread tension and when you want to ruche anything, <laughs> like it doesn't matter, you don't want to go back and forth with your sewing machine, you want to leave the thread open so that you can pull afterwards on the top thread um, and ruche your fabric and when you're happy with your result you can just make a double knot into both ends of your threads and that's it. This step is optional, you don't have to do this, but I cut my underbust piece into three pieces to create um, decorative seams in the front of my top and for that I pinned the wrong sides and basically went in with the same technique I used for my lattice hems and if you want to know in detail um, how to make a, lat a lattice hem, just check out my last tutorial, I will link it in the description box. And then I went in and pinned my ruched bust piece and my underbust piece right sides facing and sewed it together. And since I didn't have enough fabric to uh, make a bias tape, which I should have, I went in and roll hemmed the edges of my bust piece so everything looked nicer. <laughs> I'm not happy with the result, but whatever. And um, after that, I went in and roll hemmed the back piece of my top and yeah, just pinned both sides together, of course, right sides facing. And after that, I went in and cut my strap pieces. And since I hate turning straps inside out, um, I just went in and folded my strap fabric and just secured everything with a straight stitch and then um, I just secured my straps to my top and that's it for this project. <laughs> 